Hello, you are watching E News of IPR Department with me, Manisha. Let's look at the today's news bulletin. This morning, Chief Minister Sri Prem Singh Tamang met with Sri Lakchung Bhutia, resident of Nathang Machung Pakyong district at Old Sikkim House, New Delhi, today. It was informed that Sri Lakchung Bhutia's children, Dadul Bhutia, 7 years old, and Santin Bhutia, 2 years old, are undergoing medical treatment at BLK Max Hospital. After learning about the illness of the children, the Chief Minister provided financial aid to the family and assured them to further assistance. Similarly, the Chief Minister also met and interacted with Sikkimese students studying in different colleges under Delhi University and inquired about their well-being. He encouraged them to study diligently and wished them the best for their future. The Chief Minister of Sikkim, Sri Prem Singh Tamang, was part of the Yoga Mahotsav, an event to commemorate the 100 days countdown to International Day of Yoga 2022. The event witnessed the presence of Union Minister and other distinguished personalities were also part of this grand event. In his address, Chief Minister Sri Prem Singh Tamang acknowledged the initiatives undertaken by Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi to bring the ancient practice of yoga in the forefront and improve health facilities support by Ayush. Informing about the inception of yoga in the school curriculum in Sikkim, he added that more than 500 teachers who have been trained by Patanjali Yogpit are effectively imparting knowledge, wisdom and aesthetic practices of yoga in different government schools of the state. Further, he mentioned about the outstanding performance of Sikkimi students in the Yoga Olympiad and also discussed about the online refresher course provided to teachers and students during the lockdown period under the theme of Be with Yoga, Be at Home. Additionally, the Chief Minister put forth the proposal to primarily enhance the propagation of yoga to remote areas and employ yoga as a powerful mechanism to enhance wellness tourism and improve the overall index of national well-being. To consolidate and utilize the serene environment and the climate of the state, he proposed the establishment of the National Yoga and Meditation Institute in the highland vicinity around Gurudongmar Lake in North Sikkim. Elaborating more about the proposal, the Chief Minister said, It will be a global institution that would impart knowledge about the importance of yoga and conservation of nature, mountain resources and India's contribution to climate discourses and mitigation. He also proposed to organize a trans-border four-sided yoga event so that the young delegates from three neighboring countries of Bhutan, Nepal and Bangladesh can participate in the 100 cities program of International Day of Yoga 2022. He added that this initiative will conform with the Neighbourhood First Policy and Act East Policy propagated by the Prime Minister. While concluding, the Chief Minister extended his best wishes to the Ministry of Ayus for their effort and undertaking to unite the country with their brilliant initiatives and thanked the Union Minister Sri Sarbananda Sonowal for personally extending an invitation to be a part of this event. Minister Sri B.S. Pant, Secretary, Ministry of Ayur Sri, Vaidya Kotecha and Special Secretary Sri Pramod Kumar Patak, Pujya Swami, Chidananda Saraswati, senior officers and dignitaries were also part of this grand event. Yesterday, the Chief Minister Supreme Singh Tamang called on Honorable Vice President of India at his official residence in New Delhi. They discussed about various issues related to Sikkim, including health and education sector over breakfast. The Chief Minister thanked the Vice President for sparing his valuable time. Secretary to HCM Dr. S. D. Dhakal, Resident Commissioner Sri Aswini Chand and OSD to HCM Sri Sunil Sarogi were also present during the call-on. The three days long 11th Federation Cup Men and Women Bodybuilding and Physics Sports National Championship 2022 concluded yesterday with much exciting presentation of bodybuilders from various states of India. The championship was organized by the Bodybuilders Association of Sikkim under the banner of Indian Bodybuilding Federation, recognized by Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports Government of India at Manan Kendra, Gantok. 
Bodybuilder Sri Hardeep Singh from Punjab won the title of Champion of Champions. The Minister IPR Department Sri Loknath Sarma graced the concluding ceremony and handed over trophies, certificates and cash awards. The program had the special presence of the political secretary to HCM Sri Jacob Khaling, who is also the chief patron of BBAS and the councillor Srimati Kalarai as the president of BBAS. Minister Sri Loknath Sarma in his address congratulated the organizers for hosting a much enthralling event of bodybuilding championship and extended his best wishes to IBBF and BBAS. He also touched upon strong political will of the state government under the leadership of the Chief Minister Supreme Prem Singh Tamang in the promotion of sports and recalled initiatives undertaken to encourage sports lovers in the state. It was announced that Chief Minister has extended a cash award of Rs 1 lakh for the winner of title Champion of Champions and Rs 50,000 each for first and second runners-up in memory of his father late Sri Kalu Singh Tamang. The political secretary to HCM Sri Jacob Khaling in his brief address expressed gratitude to the Chief Minister for all support and IBBF for their guidance in hosting the event in the state of Sikkim. A total of 350 athletes had participated in the championship that was organized for 16 different categories. Mangan Nagar Panchayat observing Plastic Awareness Week from 6th to 13th March 2022 on its 7th day yesterday carried out mass cleanliness drive come rejuvenation of Remit Kola. The cleanliness drive also saw active participation of local stakeholders, shopkeepers of Mangan Lal Bajar and utility drivers of Lal Bajar, MNP inspectors, staffs and Safai Mitras. The mass cleanliness drive took place under guidance and active participation of Ward Councillor RN Marg. Rimit Kola, which is very vulnerable to each essence of dumping waste over it as it flows through commercial holdings, was cleaned with all waste lifted to garbage truck manually by the participants. Observing Plastic Awareness Week on Saturday, Mangan Nagar Panchayat conducted a surprise inspection at commercial establishments and shops around the Mangan Bajar on single-use plastic and other banned items being sold by shopkeepers. The inspection was carried out by MNP Bajar sub-inspectors and other staff members. The shops were thoroughly inspected and checked and all the banned items like single-use plastic spoons, plastic plates, plastic cups, thermocol items were seized on the spot. The subkeepers selling such items were challenged and fined on the spot. The stakeholders and shopkeepers were also requested to strictly adhere to not using plastic bags and single-use plastic items. They were sensitized on plastic waste, about its harmful effects on health and environment and to abstain from the use of single-use plastic. This much for today. We'll be back with the more updates. Keep watching E-News of IPR Department. Thank you.